today I'm going to be doing a review on this fast setting concrete mix by Quickcrete. I started using it about seven years ago. I use it for certain things. I'm going to give you my opinion. I'm going to show you what I used it for. First thing we're going to do is just take a look at the package. So it says fast setting concrete mix by Quickcrete. And it said set post without mixing general concrete work. Sets hard in 20 to 40 minutes and exceeds the compressive strength requirements of ASTM C387. That's the American standard of testing materials. C is for like masonry products and 387 is whatever it is. You got to guess. They don't want to tell you what PSI it is. I looked all over for it. So here's the back fast setting concrete mix. It gives you the mixing instructions and then it says for post how to put post in but when I was a kid you never use concrete around post you put rocks around post and you you bang it down that way if the post rotted away you could uh, reach down pick the rocks up and put a new post in but that's kind of new school and it says for uh, pouring slabs now I do use it for pouring slabs and I use it for other stuff but that's about it it don't really tell you anything else you gotta, like I said, guess. Let me explain the old school way of doing concrete. We would get one part Portland, two parts sand, and two or three parts gravel, and we mix it up, and we'd add water, and that would be our mix. This stuff everything's mixed already see it it's all in there the rocks are in there the sands in there the only thing you do is you add water now in the old days when you ordered concrete from a concrete company you would order one two three be one cement two sand three stone or you'd order one two two depending on what you wanted or you'd order two two one and sometimes you use a different size gravel. Now this was uh, regular gravel. This was called at one time, it was called pea gravel. Now they call it 1B, one, one I think. And this is 2B. So they keep changing the names and everything, but that's the basics. This stuff is all pre-made. All you do is add the water. The old school, you would mix it as you wanted to mix it. Let me show you an example of old school mixing. This is concrete sidewalks part one. This is where I used old school mixing techniques. I brought the sand, you see I'm dumping the sand in, then I dump in the cement, then I dump in the sand again, then I mix it all up before I put the gravel in. This is the old school way of doing it. And then when it's all mixed up, then I dump the gravel in the way I want it. That would be the old school way of making concrete for a small job on a small sidewalk. Now I'm going to show you some of the new ways I use this quick creek fast setting concrete mix. This one I'm actually making wall caps and I'm forming it. You can see I'm shoveling it in there and you got to work fast with this stuff. It's a, you know 20 minutes 30 minutes later it's hard already. So you can see I'm getting it all ready. And then I put some little clips in there so I could pick it up. I knock the forms off. I clean it up a little bit. And then you'll see me, I'm piling them all up so I could distribute them. And that's what they look like when they're done. So you could use them for that. Now here's where I used it for a concrete porch stoop. It's called part three. I just got the bags. I mixed two or three of them together. And in this case, because it was, it was going to be out in the weather, I added some Portland to it. I can do that. I'll explain that more at the end. And then I just mixed it up with water. Didn't have to do any uh, sand or anything. It's all set. And then I start getting a shovel and shoveling it in to the porch top. It's a porch stoop. And yet you got to work fast, like I said. Now, this was a very cool day, so I w it didn't have to be in a big hurry. You see how I finished it off and that's the end of it. So I use it for porch stoops. Now this is a concrete sidewalks part two and we did this by hand. I had a lot of help so we had three guys mixing in a wheelbarrow. 
just like that, just mixed it in a wheelbarrow. Then when we got it ready, poured it in just as if you were pouring in a, it from a concrete truck. While I'm doing that, the next batch is coming, and then I finish it up just like I'm doing regular concrete, taking the forms off about an hour and a half later, wetting it down, and then for a sidewalk, I cover it. And I might leave it on there for so many days, and then I'll come and I'll seal it. Now here's an instance where I had to form a doorway. It's an old rock foundation. That's what it looks like when it's done. I mixed the stuff up. I didn't add anything to it. Just use it like it was. And then I took the old stone and I put it around the form, just like that. And I filled up alongside the form. And I show you how I did it. You wet everything first. And then at the end you just kind of sponge it in with the sponge. It looks like the rest of the old foundation. And look, you take the, the forms off and you're done. So there's a lot of different things I use it for. Now here's a job where I'm putting in a paver sidewalk. It's a one day job. 95% of the time I always put pavers for a sidewalk on concrete base. Then they won't be heaved in the, in the spring after the winter. So instead of calling concrete trucks and waiting and waiting, I use the facet, I put the pavers on and I'm all done. So I showed you the jobs that I use this type of cement on. Now this cement over here is the same stuff except it's not fast drying. It's just like regular concrete. This will take hours and hours to dry or this might take an hour, an hour and a half. Don't forget this is all Portland cement in here and Portland cement is the same stuff that they make highways and swimming pools and sidewalks out of. So Mike, you're going to ask me, do you ever add anything to this? Yes. If I'm doing a sidewalk, something outside, I'll get myself a good trowel full of regular Portland cement, and I'll add it to this right here. I'll add that to this mix, and I'll add it to that mix. And that's going to give me the security I want for what's going on in northeastern Pennsylvania. I don't think they make it strong enough for our area. Now you go to Virginia or you go to the Carolinas, I think you're fine with it. Also, depending on what you use, if it's a hot day out, you might not want to use this, you might want to use this. Now can you add the two of them together? I've done it in the past to speed it up, but it's for small jobs, it's not for big jobs like little stoops, like I said, or sidewalks, or something like that. Remember that cement is not a glue, it's a binder. It binds things together, it doesn't glue and hold them. That's why they're always looking for the compressive strength. When you buy this stuff, I go home and I put it right into a plastic bag. Because when you go to them stores, they leave it out for months sometimes, especially during the winter, and it gets hard. And I think it loses its strength a little bit that way. I kind of showed you what I use it for. Uh, you could use it for a lot of different things, but that's the way things are going anymore. Everybody's doing it like this instead of doing it the old school way. Now instead of using the old school method, like I showed you the one, two, three, they used a PSI, but it don't show you on the bag what it is. It's usually 4,000 PSI pounds per square inch for the compressive strength, they call it. I don't think it says it in that bag either. I still like to know what they put in it, but they don't show you the ingredients. Not for the old timers like me anyway. This is basically what they say is a general use masonry thing. That's why I'll add Portland to it sometimes because I might want it just a little bit stronger for what I use it for. I do my own testing. Uh, I go back, I look at the jobs, I see what happens. I've been using it for seven years. I haven't had any problems with it. I like it a lot. It's the new school. It's the miracle kind of thing for getting stuff done fast. What used to take me hours and hours and hours might just take me a couple hours anymore. So yeah, I like it and I'm going to do a review on this. Well, nobody's sponsoring me or giving me any money on this stuff. I'm just showing you what I use it for. Years ago, this stuff wasn't around. Big difference. Uh, it does help in masonry and everything I said is my opinion and the way I do things. So thanks for watching. I'm Mike Haddock. I'll see you in the next video.